All right, guys, so we're back. Part three. Can you believe we've been talking two hours now? Oh my god. So we're gonna do another live. Um, excuse me, hey, Miss Life. I don't know, my husband, my hubby was saying he wanted to go and do laundry, so um, he's probably gonna go do that and then we're gonna shower later, whatever. And we're just here chilling out. It's nice. Hey, the hand of Alta Gracia, can you please answer my WhatsApp? <laughs> I have customers that are trying to book with Butterfly Tejada Nurse. Go answer my WhatsApp, please. <laughs> I was about to call you too, but I don't know what you guys were doing this Sunday. I don't want to bug you. But yeah, guys, Tejada Nurse is Alta Gracia, which is a path owner of Butterfly Recovery House. Um, and John, you know, John, my masseuse, Jay Masahis, uh, is the other owner. So that's my boo. Um, I can't wait to go down there and do some videos for you guys so you guys can see how Butterfly looks and stuff like that. Um, for you guys that are asking me, did you stay at Butterfly? No guys, because I had surgery in January of 2019 and Butterfly opened, I think it was like August, August, September of 2019. And I haven't been down to the DR since. So, again, then COVID happened and instead of going for my surgery, I went to turn out carnival this year. So, I'm stuck here now waiting for all this crap to whatever fade away before i take my ass down there and then i was saying to like some of my customers you don't know guys what's gonna happen after election election in november we don't know what the heck john cj massages guys so puppy do you have um good internet connection you want to join another live and talk to the people thank you guys who are saying i'm so pretty i just try to drink my water mind my business <laughs> most of the times let's let's um what do you call it get john in the live guys all right i just added him let's see if he um joins in the live and give you guys a little chat hello ladies. oh my hello. god it's so dark by you I'm oh yeah it's nine o'clock in the night can you hear me yes we can hear you you see? Hey, mommy. Oh, I can't hear you. You can't hear me? No. Okay, I will call you again, okay? I don't know I'll why. We are working. <laughs> call me back. Call me back. Okay. Call me back. So, that's about the fly owners, guys. John and Alta Garcia that you guys are just seeing there. So, um, let me see what you guys are saying. I look like a doll. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. I, I, you know, when I, I know when I put my makeup on, I'm like, you know, that's when I like how I look. But right now, it's like trucker plain face. And I ain't gonna lie to you. I'd be so lazy to put on like lipstick and do my brows and stuff. So I wanna go to the DR. I wanna do the um, what do you call it? Microblading with tropical brows. I want to get that done and I don't know maybe do my lips too because it's like a permanent tattoo thing I don't know we'll see depending on the pain hey Miss Primadonna and I, I did see your uh, whatsapp message to me Miss Primadonna but I was in the middle of the live but I did see it come across the screen or oh, was it your DM to me <laughs> all right so let me see what you guys are asking oh you guys can hear him but I couldn't hear him damn it but you guys Okay, let's let's try him again. Let me try my headphones and see if I can hear him there. Okay, can you hear me now? Say something. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, see, I'm not hearing you. Let me try my headphones and see if I can hear you. Okay. Is behind me. She's on. Oh, now I hear you. Okay. And tell me what happened. We are working. Look. At this time of the night, you're still doing massages. Yes. Look the look my coffee. Yeah, John? Yeah. I will show you. Look the coffee. Oh my God. Papi, you guys work so hard. It's oh, Sunday. Yeah, it's time, baby. You see? Oh yeah, John. Come on, start amigo. Yeah, say something. Where are you saying hi, man? Papi, <laughs> what happened? Hey. Yeah, you see him? Mucho trabajo, eh? 
Yeah, they're working. It's like 9 p.m. Wow, 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 wow. I see that. I see that. Right here is, uh, is uh, I don't know what it's saying in English, but it's like a curfew. I don't know. If it's like <laughs> well, I can't hear what he's saying. Okay, sorry. Well, so where are you guys going now? Are we going to another client? We work a lot. So okay. Clients. You're going right now to do 30 clients? Yes. Oh, my God. Thank God. I, I know where you're going to. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but I know where you're going to do those 30 clients. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have a lot of ladies, they asking me and say, hey, yeah. hey, you work in different recovery house? I say, no. I only work in my recovery house. I work in MBNB, a private house. I give you that service, you know, for don't say no. Right. Because, you know, I like to go to the people. That's exactly. Right. I am here working. So here. guys, if you guys didn't hear John, he said he only goes to, if you're staying at Butterfly, his recovery house, you can get yeah. massages, Airbnb, or a private house. He yeah. no longer goes to other recovery houses. So it's Airbnb, a private house, let's say you're staying at a, a friend's house or a relative's house, and yeah. Butterfly recovery house. His okay. recovery house. That's it. They, okay, they are here. They asking me, Jay, and hey, you allow the people inside the, re the recovery house, the outside? I say no, because remember, we have a different thing than COVID nineteen. Yes. We have to be careful because sometimes when you are in another recovery house, I can have the control of your post care. Whatever. Exactly. You put on your fire wrong. The doctor say you have you got the burn. They say. Oh, it was for Jay. I don't like right. You know? So what he's saying, what he's saying, guys, is you cannot come to Butterfly Recovery House like with an Uber or a driver to get a massage from him. He does yeah. not allow people to come from the outside to Butterfly to get massages because one of COVID, and two because when you go back to your recovery house, what if they put your faha on incorrectly? from but how he did it right and they make a mistake and you get a faha burn or, or something happens to you and then you blame him because at your recovery house they're gonna take your faha off to give you a bath or, or you know bathe you and they have to put it back on so for that reason he does not allow you to um come to butterfly to get the massage from him you have yeah. to either stay with him at butterfly or be at an airbnb or somebody's private house yeah, but Papi, I heard you. I heard you guys may be expanding. Is this true? Yes. Ah, that's good. We try. That I'm telling you, guys, and I say this to the people over and over. Your post up here, who is your masseuse, is going to make or break your surgery results. Okay, I have. A, okay, I have to say something about that. Yes. Sometimes there are people that think it's only it's, it's only all the surgery, or the surgery, like the surgery. Right. Well, you have okay. You look okay. You fight for you have the good surgery, but you are right. looking for the good masseuse because remember, it's in the part. The surgery is one day. The post care is three months. Whatever wrong you do in your post care, that's it. You won't right. have the resort. And you have to go looking for the good person. Really, the first, be good. The second, be human. The third, right. like to help you, like the person, you know? Right. Because sometimes when you come in this country, the people are thinking, like, you are the business. It's not like this. So, if you are not available for the people, are there any other masseuse that you would recommend that they, they can go to? Okay, I recommend to, uh, because I know, Maciel Postcare is one of my team in Altagracia. Because I didn't, I, okay, okay, it's not, a, because they are a lot of people, they make good job. But the problem was they are not popular, you know? They are really popular. Right. They, sometimes they work like, you know? 
So they, right. yeah, the more massage you receive, they work more slowly. The more massage you receive, the, okay, the more bad you are, the more massage you pay. Right. That's it. And um, that's, that's why. why here. You, okay, right. you are very bad, you can pay more. Then right, and that's why I. More. I tell them all the time, you do not have to get two massages a day. One massage is enough. No, 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 really. Our book is one, not two, two, ni three, ni four. Remember this. Okay, I okay. I have one surgery. I have life for example. I feel pain. I have an anesthesia in my headache. And then I have a lot of bruises. Okay, guys, so his signal is <clears throat> probably poor. That's why it's um, spinning right now with him. But what he's saying is a lot of people, or not a lot of people, some masseuse, they'll tell you, oh, you need to have two massages a day. But they're saying that because they're just trying to get your money from you, you know, and they'll probably charge you. Like, for example, John charges $35. and massage you okay so we lost him um, some of these people are gonna charge you $25 or $30 per massage and they're telling you you need two a day you know so what a lot of what some of them do I should say is they leave back fluid in you intentionally or they move slowly like he said um, they're not as aggressive to get that fluid out they don't do the use the needle to aspirate the areas that need um, aspiration. So all of that would be a reason why they'll be showing you, oh, I see, look, this is why you need two massages a day, because look, I'm getting more fluid out of you. You know, when John gives you one massage a day, guys, and I kid you not, I will, I have it on the Dr. Laurent uh, Facebook group. There's videos um, when I did lives on there after my round one where you'll see I was cussing because them massages is no joke. But <laughs> I don't have any that I taped on my phone. Um, but this round, when I go back, I'm going to tape some so you guys can see. When I tell you these massages are no joke, John does not play. So let's try and get him back in the live. One second. So let's see if he answers. All right. There he goes. Let's see. So it's just spinning right now, but... Can you hear me? Okay, I can hear you now. Can you hear me, baby? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. I will explain something. There, if you're oh. Okay, there are a lot of... You're, break, if you're, you're breaking up a little. Okay, can you hear me? Now? Yes. Uh-huh. There are a lot of... Okay, no. Can't hear you. No. What? Can't hear you. <laughs> you cannot do too much. Okay. You can buy okay. need a time for be healing. And then when you give two massages a day, the pressure can be high. You can have a headache. You can feel dizzy. You can feel numb. You can feel weak. Why? A lot to your body. This one a day is better because you can release your body to work. That's why okay. it's one massage a day, not two, ni three, four. There are people that okay. are people hungry. They want to say buy a day. That's because I have a good resource for my clients. Oh, I give one a day. I don't give two, ni three, ni four. It's only one. You right. Client. I never give. I never I give you. A day. Two masses a day. Okay. If I want to work two time with you, I have to give you one. I can work like this. Oh, remember, the first one that you receive is easy. It's like high. 
you don't feel it, nothing. Because you're thinking, okay, there are people say, okay. Okay. And I have 20 massages. Well, I, have, I have fluid. It's better to do 20 massages in 20 days and 10 massages or 20 massages in 10 days. So we have the good result in the more longer process. Why? Because you, you need your body to react. You need your body to become healthy. You need your body to become working. When you okay. It's like you receive one. Right. You understand what I say? You, you understand? There are people say, oh, yay, massage in 10 days, you have a grocery. Then you will have a grocery. Because you have 20 massages in 10 days. Well, it's different. You massage in 20 days. It's very different. Why? Right. Remember, it's three months, not 10 days. And then they are people they think in the most a little time it's better, it's no better. It's better, because right? Because they right. don't live they back to work. You understand? Know right. I want you to just blame me. My people, my English, I'm trying to stop <laughs> you. I understand. I understand. Oh, when we get when we get off the live, I'll, I'll explain to them what it is you're saying. Okay. Why it is okay, you're saying yeah, it's yeah, not good to have two yeah, massages a day? Okay, there are a lot of people say, yay, I have 20 massages. I say, how many days how many do you have? I say, I have 10 days. I said, wow, 20 massages? Okay, uh, okay. He said, yay, I have four massages. You have 10 days. I say, wow, 10 days? Four days? Yeah. Four zero? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. More than one month in ten days. <laughs> say, oh my yeah, God. I am okay. I am. I am not I'm okay. I don't. I say James, baby, you have to go because you have the ten day post here. It's very difficult. Okay. And then when you send me, James, trust me, I don't have blue. Yeah, I took her almost twenty straight to her stomach. You don't have blue. Because right. You think in your mind, when you have 20 massages in 10 days, that's enough with baby. You have to. Because with them, me, yeah. with me, when when I had uh, round two and I had the 360 lipo, when you were doing my massages and using the needle by day nine, I didn't have any more fluid. You didn't yeah. have to use the needle anymore. You know? Yeah. And that's okay. one massage a day, guys. I have it okay, okay, I have it to say something lately. For you today, know, one thing. Ladies, try to look for the good masseuse. They try to you like the business. They think in the more value that you are, it's better for them but because you better receive more massages. Try to look for the good people you know respect the respect the job. Respect oh yeah, you're, you're breaking up. You, like the like the human that because they are a lot of good, you know, sometimes they are, okay, okay, I know a lot of my suits, they are not really good. Sometimes when I get it, sometimes they, they call me, and then I say, no, they make a job. Be honest. When people make a job, I have to say, yes, you don't need me. Right. Say, no, yes, I right. don't do it with you because you are the, no, 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 no. Because that person you choose, that's make good job. Okay. I don't know who is he or who is she, but she makes a good job. And then when I see, I say, that last person makes a good job. I like when I talk. I know sometimes there are people that come into the yard. There are people that thinking you're from America, you're from another country, you are rich. I know you are not rich. Yeah. It's hard for you to graduate. You have to respond. Because, yeah. you know, you save your for one people play with your with you, that's it for me. That kind yeah. of, of you know, for that reason. <laughs> sometimes yeah. sometimes that's true. You just asking me something, I say, What is this? That's why 
<laughs> Roberta. Because yeah. you are part of my mom. Yeah. <laughs> and then you are a good person. You know whatever happened with you, whatever happened to my body, you know that. I don't have to say yep. that. Yep. Because the you. Exactly. Because now, now it's no longer like, oh, I, I just hired you to do my massages. You know, guys, now it's like John and Elaine is like family to me. You know. All right, so his uh, signal is going again. Uh, Papi, your signal is going bad. Yes, because look. look, look. Your, your sig yeah, your signal is getting bad. <laughs> I, want to so, uh, I want to another company. I have one more. <laughs> I, I have five crime more. I would be wow. Today. Yeah. Man. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to say bye. Drive safe. I'm okay. going to call you on WhatsApp later. <laughs> All right, love you. Ta-da, Hi. <laughs> bye. All right, bye, puppy. All right, bye. All right, guys, so let me answer some of you guys' questions about Butterfly and stuff like that. Um, let me see here. All right, so yes, it's, it's Butterfly Recovery House. Anyone going to November need a school or a surgery sister? <laughs> I need a quote with his recovery house. They don't answer DMs because, as you could see, um, Shaniki, whatever, I don't know what your name is. I'm just, I'm just butchering it. Look at the time on a Sunday night, and it's 9.30 in the DR, and they're still doing massages. So I, I know they have a private customer that they're going to. That's why he said he still has another $30 to massage. So I know that's why he's going over there to do it um, right now. But this is why you don't get, you don't get an answer from them um, that often. You know? So if you want a quote, you need to um, message me, send me a DM. Send me if you want single, double, or triple room. If it's you or you and a companion, and exactly what dates you're going to be in the DR, whether you're flying in, whether you're flying out, so I can tell you what the quote is and I can get an answer on um, if those dates are available. But as you can see, John and Alta Gracia are pretty busy. So that's a, that's a lot of times why you guys don't get an answer um, from them if it is that. They have availability or not and they're pretty booked so like right now the house only holds six people one single two in the double and three in the triple i know that they, they are planning on expanding i don't know if it's going to happen in the next month or two or if it's going to happen in january um but i know that they are expanding so they're going to be able to accommodate if i'm not mistaken i believe up to uh 15 dolls is what i think that they're planning to um to have so maybe another three rooms holding triples because right now they're doing six. Uh, a new change me said she's excited she's going to be staying at Butterfly. <laughs> can I book him now for April at the Airbnb? Um, yes, you can. You can send him uh, your dates. If you have your Airbnb and stuff booked already, you can send him um, the dates you're going to be down there and the address for the Airbnb and um, we know like when your surgery is so when you're gonna start needing him from or you can wait a little closer uh, to the date because when you're at the Airbnb the way it works with him is you just kind of let him know okay I'm here this is where I am and then you do the come massage me and he will meet he will you but staying at butterfly recovery house that one you got to do months in advance because they are from what I'm seeing <laughs> almost always booked up months in advance yeah, like my husband said, since he started, he's been booked. Hey, Miss Omera. He's a very good guy. Let me tell you guys one thing about John, guys. Uh, my husband said he's a good guy. Very John good is, worker. as you can see, a very hard worker because his day is start at like 6 o'clock in the morning. You know, he gets up to start doing massages. Um, he does not get a lot of sleep. He's a very hard worker, and he's very, very serious about two things, his reputation and his money. Like, reputation first. You know, so his name, what people say about him, um, he takes that very, very seriously. So when I tell you whatever John tells me to do, I do it. Jump. Okay, John, how high? <laughs> He's been doing this, I believe, like close to 15 years by now. 
um, and obviously has worked on hundreds, if not thousands of women. So I trust him implicitly with whatever he tells me, wear your board, wear your stage supaha, get your massages, you know, whatever they post up, whatever he says I do. Why? Because he has the experience. He's the one that's treating women one week, two weeks, three weeks, a month post up. Some women stay that long in the DR to get massages from him and to recover before they go home. So he's the one that's seeing you on a daily basis. Every day he's seeing you. So he can tell what's working, what's not working, trial and error, you know, different body types, different situations, different whatever, what, how he should treat it and what he should do, you know. Um, Chama, how much for each of his massages? So at the Airbnb and the private house, it's $35 per massage. At Butterfly Recovery House, when you stay with him, your first 12 massages is included in your quote. After those 12 massages, if you're staying there longer and you need more massages, um, it's $30 per massage. Is the incision supposed to be opened up if it's closed? Are you referring, Pink Eyes, to when you're getting your massage? If it is that the masseuse opens back up your incision to drain that fluid um, out of you? No. The first, Papa, when John was draining you uh, for your 360 lipo, right? And the fluid was flying out the lipo hole, like in your back and stuff. How many days post up would you say he was able to do that before the incision healed and the, the fluid was no longer flying out the incision hole? Okay. Okay, so my husband is saying for his 360 lipo, so the lipo holes, because they put a stitch, not just your big incision like your tummy tuck incision, but the little lipo holes that they make to lipo you, they stitch that as well. So uh, my husband is saying about day four, day five is when, like when you see uh, massage videos where the masseuse is um, draining you and the fluid is flying out of your back or your, your belly or wherever, and it's coming through that incision hole, that's only for the first couple of days before that hole closes up and, and, and heals. So my husband is saying that was probably like the first four or five days. After that, when they do a lymphatic massage, the fluid is not going to be flying out of you like that because now that wound has now healed. So that's where if they're not doing needle aspiration, there could still be a lot of fluid that's staying in you that's not coming out um, because you're not peeing it out, you know. And that's why you have to use the needle to get the extra fluid out. Dr. Luis Fuentes Lopez T. Girl, go to surgery room and surgery 411 and DR, Dominican dolls and whatever. Because I'm not about tea, okay? <laughs> I don't do gossip. I don't do drama. I don't like this whole bad talking people, whatever, whatever. The only time I speak ill of a doctor, so to speak, is if I think that they're doing something negligent. So when you hear me speak about the killers in the DR, it's because I know they're doing negligent shit. Um, tea, I don't talk about tea. There's surgery room and surgery 411 and snatch the road and DR, whatever and whatever and whatever. Not me. I only tell you things that I think is going to be beneficial to you, how you're going to recover, how you should get ready for surgery, things like that. But as far as I know about him, he's not an um, aggressive doctor. One of his dolls was messaging me, telling me that she did not like the fact that he left back fat and stuff in her back. Um, her belly still was not as flat as she expected, so she has to go back for round two. So, but beyond that, I don't know him to be known as spreading infections and killing people and you know being overly aggressive and putting people's life in danger. I don't I don't know people to talk about him like that. How many dolls does J massages accept? Uh, at Butterfly Recovery House, six is the house maximum right now. Um, if you're at the Airbnb, whatever, I don't know what is his um, total to do per day. He just, as you can see, pushes himself and his team. He has two nurses that work with him, Tejada Nurse and Maciel, he said. I think that was her name, which is two girls that he's trained. Uh, Tejada Nurse is Alta Gracia, who is also part owner of Butterfly Recovery House. So I'm going to get uh, both their IG pages and post it for you guys so you guys can contact them about if you cannot get John to do your massages, um, contact them to do your massage. Other people in the DR that I know people speak well about is Maciel Cisnero, which is um, 
she owns a recovery house. She's an esthetician as well. I'm not sure what's the name of her recovery house. She sells BBL pillows or Buffy pillows, I should say, stuff like that. Yeni Magic Hands, I've heard good things about her. Dr. Edison, I've heard 50-50 about him. Um, some people were saying that he wasn't aggressive enough, so that he was like leaving back fluid in them, that he was saying, oh, I, oh, I can't get you, you, or your fluid, there's no more fluid. And then they got a massage from somebody else, and the person is pulling all fluid from them. Um, who else? Not Fenty or whatever the heck her name is. That lady, please don't go to that lady in her recovery house. There's too much drama behind her with people getting locked in her recovery house, getting served raw meat. And I'm not talking about what I think. I'm telling you, people put the pictures of the raw chicken on, 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 on Facebook. They spoke about the experience on Facebook, about her and her man locking them in the, in the house and not letting them leave because um they wanted to go to another recovery house and was telling them oh well you need to pay for the rest of your stay here even though you're not going to stay here more than once her name have been called in bullshit and she's another one that tells you shit like oh you need 20 massages in 10 days and all this bullshit and john was just talking about that so i'm going to talk about why he's saying anybody that's telling you that you need multiple massages every day and not one massage per day how detrimental that can be to your health um is it true that if you are 50, you can't have surgery in another country? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Spanish culture, Colombian culture, Dominican culture, Brazil, Venezuela. Venezuela is seven miles off the coast of Trinidad. That's like the home of plastic surgery, gender reassignment surgery when I was growing up. In these people's culture, women in their 60s are having... Uh, surgery and getting snatched. Uh, I don't mean no surgery about doing your face, whatever. I'm talking about doing your body. So whoever said that, don't want you to be great, honey. You can have surgery as long as you're healthy. These doctors will perform surgery on you. Um, do you think it's good or bad when recovery houses have a lot of dolls? It depends. It depends on, on, on really the staff at the recovery house, how they are managing um, their recovery house. I don't think it's a bad thing necessarily. Um, if it is that everything is running smoothly, you know, but with COVID now, you know, now you got to be extra careful in regards to who's your roommate, you know, um, the staff at the recovery house, are they getting tested for COVID pretty often? Like my nurse, Elaine, Elaine's page, private nurse service. She's in my link tree on my profile. Click on the URL. You'll see her Instagram page and John's Instagram page as well. Um, Elaine already had two COVID tests. I think it was like two weeks apart. She had the test done at CIPLA and she posted uh, the results on her page to show you guys I'm COVID free, I'm not sick or whatever. So you guys may want to, you know, whoever you decide to go to stay with, uh, find out from them what COVID uh, testing is their staff and their recovery house is doing um, to, you know, make sure that everybody is safe and, 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 and healthy. How many do you recommend after BBL? I will be at the DR for 20 days. Are you talking about uh, massages? So if you're going to be there for 20 days, I'm assuming you're going to be there, let's say, two or three days before surgery. So you can roughly get about 14, 15 massages every day before you leave. And like earlier, I was talking to John and telling him, um, when I had my 360 lipo on BBL, on day nine, with him massaging me every day, once a day, and doing the needle draining every day, because after 360 lipo, you do not get um, a drain. It's usually tummy tuck you get the drain for. I had no more fluid in me after day nine. No more visible fluid where he has to stick the needle and drain me. So I would basically just be in my really tight faha compressing to get that swelling down. But noticeable fluid where, you know, you do this and the skin is, you know, um, let me see if I can do it. This is how you do it. You do the test. You tap your skin like that. And that's how you kind of know um, if there's fluid there or not, because you see it literally shaking like a waterbed. So that's where you know that's where you're going to stick the needle to get that fluid out of you. Um, but after nine days, you know, he was doing such a phenomenal job that I did not have to continue with needle aspiration. How many days would you recommend staying in the DR minimum? I mean, for me, honestly, I think if you have the time and you can take time off from work, if you have a tummy tuck, you want to stay down there at least a month. Seriously, um, if you are doing just 360 lipo BBL, you could probably stay three weeks and, you know, make sure after those three weeks you have coming back home with no fluid, whatever. 
That's why I said if they can. If, if you can see the long, I would see that. Um, if you cannot see the long, at least, guys, 12 days. 10 to 12 days, at least. But just know, tummy tuck, guys, if you stay there 10 to 12 days, you're more than likely going back home with a drain still on, on you. Um, 360 lipo, guys. For me, guys, I mean, yes, lipo is painful when you are getting your massages and stuff. But I don't really think it's that debilitating like a tummy tuck. Um, 360 lipo, BBL, and my breast reduction and lift. The next day, <laughs> the next, if you guys go look at my highlights, um, the one that said, I think, DR round two or whatever in my highlights, you'll see after I had got discharged from the hospital that morning, Maybe we had said what on Tuesday? And was this church on Wednesday? Yeah, so we had surgery on Tuesday. Both rounds actually we had surgery on Tuesday and got discharged on Wednesday. And the morning I got discharged, I'm walking around like normal. Uh, this is three sixty lipo BBL. This is not Tommy Tuck. Um I'm walking around like normal. I um um uh, doing everything, doing everything like normal. I was cooking in the house, I was I was doing, you know, regular stuff. We were going outside on the Malikan, walking on the boardwalk, going for ice cream, whatever. You know, I was, yes, I was sore. Yes, when I get my, my massages, it hurt. But to say that I was so stiff from a lot of fluid collecting, I was not. It really was a lot easier for me. So I feel like, you know, and again, that's you guys' tolerance level, how high of a tolerance the pain you have, um, that you can, you know, deal with it. But... I had my first massage the morning I was discharged. Like I told John, I am not waiting you no know, two days or three days or whatever like these doctors tell you before you can get your massage. I said I learned my lesson from round one. The day I'm discharged, please come and massage me. So he was there like two o'clock or whatever in the afternoon um, to give me my, my first massage the, mo the day I'm discharged, right? So this is one day post-op and put me in my stage too far with my boards and my foam, my poison pads. I never use lipo foam. Um, with my poison pads and my ab board. My husband, same thing. Same thing. So it all depends, again, like you were saying, who's your masseuse or what they're telling you. And I guess let's talk about that a little bit too, what he was talking about with these multiple um, massages in one day. Dr. E was very nice but not aggressive enough for me and very overwhelmed with his schedule. Who's Dr. E? I don't know who that is. <laughs> um, does he charge additional to drain fluid with needle? No. That's part of his service. So he was talking about the people that are telling you guys um, you need to have two, three, four massages in one day and they're charging you $20 a massage or $30 a massage or whatever. Or oh, Dr. Edison. Okay. Okay, so Dr. Edison, which is another masseuse in the DR, the doll is saying he was very nice but not aggressive enough for me and very overwhelmed with his schedule. I did see somebody complaining about that, saying that they paid him for massages and he did not um, come because he was talking about he had a family emergency and then he didn't answer his WhatsApp and whatever, whatever. So, guys, like seriously, and I'm going to call off some names here and these are really the only people that I will vouch for and say that they're very serious about their reputation so they don't fuck around when it comes to not giving you the service that you pay for um besides john of course oz which is the husband of um dr carla carella from healing and beauty he's pretty good at what he does as well um yenny magic hands well, Tejada Nurse and Maciel, I'm going to post those um, Instagram pages. Somebody please send me a DM and remind me to do that for you guys. Um, who else? Um, Maciel Cisnero, I think is her name. A reminder for you guys, if y'all go, <laughs> go to the Instagram. Um, my husband, go to I don't know if you guys page. are here with my husband. Oh, remind uh, them to go to my YouTube page. A reminder for you, if y'all go to the YouTube page. <laughs> Um, who else? Oh, Dr. Catherine Almonte. So she's on my page as well. She is, she also trained under John. Um, Denise, Denise Lara. She also tra tra trained under John. She has her own recovery house as well. Um, so these are some people I'm talking about who are masseuses that I know are pretty serious about giving you your money's worth and giving you 
um, or showing up, I should say, for you and not taking your money and be like, oh, well, I this, I couldn't come and this, that, and the other, you know? So the, their reputation precedes them. Um, Dr. Catherine Almonte, she's a doctor, like an MD. She trained under John as well with the massages. She also is an esthetician and she's opening up her own, uh, like, office space or spa or whatever. Um, she's one of the people that I follow if you guys go. And I, I also made post about her. She's on my feed. Um, you guys can go see for yourself uh, her post that she's, excuse me, that she's making about the space that she's opening up. So all of these are people, guys, that had I been able to go to the DR before COVID happened, I would have been able to do videos and show you guys all these people and their services and what they offer and different recovery houses and stuff. Um, recovery houses that I can tell you I've been to and I've seen from my own two eyes and I know that, you know, the owner is pretty serious as well. And you guys have to remember something. Everybody is in the surgery uh, game to make money. Nobody's in the surgery game for charity, okay? Everybody's trying to make money. But for me, there are certain things you do and you don't do when it comes to being professional, you know, um, and still having some sort of, I don't know, morals, ethics, uh, conscience when it comes to people's money. So, example, I've been to New Life Recovery House. Uh, Maciel is the uh, owner of Maria Camanero is the masseuse I was talking about, calling her Maciel Cisnero. Maciel Cisnero is the owner of New Life Recovery House. She has... That, uh? That's one where her mom cooks? Yeah. My hubby, mom is the best cook. my hubby loves going over to her recovery house because her mom used to be the chef there and she would cook like um, steak and stuff and my hubby would go over there and eat. <laughs> We're not even staying at the people's recovery house. She's over there eating food and drinking coffee and whatever. Anyway, I went there to use um, the oxygen chamber for my round one. So she has now... I believe she has now no longer the oxygen chamber that you go and lie in like a coffin. I hated that. She has the one where you sit in the chair and you're sitting and you're in it now. So that one I would probably do because I did not like the lying down in the coffin type one. That freaked me the hell out. Um, so I've been there. She was the first recovery house uh, to get her home up to the government's code and standards. Um, and do all the different things that the Department of Health require, requires, I'm sorry, to have a certified recovery house in the DR. Plus, it has, you know, like, relaxing. She has a pool in the backyard. Of course, you can't use the pool, but it's a nice relaxing area, you know, when you're there by yourself in the recovery house and you want to go outside and take some fresh air and be on your phone and whatever, yeah. you know. So I liked it. Nice. Yeah, my husband is saying that the employees who were there were super nice as well. Um, and then she's very fluent in English, so if you WhatsApp her, if you want her WhatsApp number, message me, I'll give it to you. Uh, or go follow her page, New Life Recovery House. Um, but when you message her and stuff, she responds to you in fluent English. You know, she's uh, pretty good with giving you uh, answers to your questions before you even get down there. So if I'm not mistaken, I think her husband is the driver. Um, who picks you up. I think he has a minivan and brings you, you know, to and from the airport and to your doctor's appointments and things like that. So we were talking about the multiple massages a day. So John was explaining that when you do these multiple massages a day or these people are telling you you need multiple massages a day, what it does is you start feeling things like nauseous. You want to faint. Some of you guys may faint and fall down. Um, yeah. You... On right. My husband said you'll pee on yourself because I'm not going to lie to you. Even when I go get my cavitation massage, I have to stop her while she's doing the cavitation and go pee like three times. So when you're getting a lymphatic massage, if they're doing it properly, you will get up and want to go pee during your massage two or three times as well. You know, so that's how you know they're opening the lymph nodes and stuff. Um, but he was saying that your blood pressure is another thing that can go really low. And of course, that is something that can be pretty detrimental to your recovery if your blood pressure gets really low and you freak out, fall, faint, fall down, whatever, blackout or some shit like that. So that's why they tell you when you're getting a massage, always keep a bottle of water um, near to you or some Gatorade, um, something with electrolytes in it for you to drink and stuff. So basically, John is saying in a nutshell, when you're doing multiple massages a day, not only are they 
basically revenue essentially they're also putting your health you know in a in a in a in a detrimental position so to speak where shit could go wrong huh your muscles and your your parts to start right so hubby is saying that you know like with your body like all the light the lipoid areas you know for your 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 body and your cells to start healing itself and stuff by them doing these massages is like they're overstimulating the area so it may essentially delay your healing of your body um longer than it should have healed and also it may also help you create more fluid it's making your body more over, like overly active then than if you were just getting the one massage and you're not like i said going for walks for no oh i'm going to go take a hour walk outside or whatever you know so that's john expert opinion whatever he says i told you guys i believe him <laughs> i'm doing whatever john tells me to do because he's the one that's been doing this 15 years or whatever um does draining with the needle hurt no literally when you get a tummy tuck on their draining your fupa area it is numb you don't feel nothing you can drain your if you're good with needles you can drain yourself you will poke that needle in your belly and you wouldn't even know it's there papa you who had 360 lipo when john was poking you with the needle was it hurting did you feel it so my husband said for 360 lipo same he did he did not feel the needle when john was sticking him with the needle to um drain him as well so you don't feel it my client that i showed you guys how much fluid she was getting out of her she was poking herself as well with the needle and she was telling me i don't feel anything you know it's like her friend started doing it and then she started doing it for herself she she told me every day she's like i'm flicking i'm touching myself if i see any ripple i'm sticking the needle right in there so um she so she started doing it herself as well so believe me you don't feel anything it does not hurt at all mm us is amazing what do you feel about the our recovery house i don't know who is the our recovery house what i do know is that this is what somebody told me one of my clients that stayed at Crow Carib so i was like who the hell is the person on Crow Carib instagram who runs the instagram so apparently the owner of Crow Carib is some lady named Carmen and her husband i don't know if it's some kind of married for papers business whatever her husband is living in new jersey and he's the one that answers people on their instagram because i found the person was super fucking like sarcastic like an asshole and i'm like who the fuck is in kokarib um uh instagram who's running that shit like why are they so you know bitchy towards um when people ask questions or whatever so it's some man i don't know if he's gay or not i don't know cuz i mean i'm sorry i'm saying it like that because there are these catty ass gay men that be acting like that so is a man it's the lady carmen husband or whatever is the one who be answering your long crocker read um but i think what they're doing is money hungry behavior and i say that because my other customer wanted to go and stay there um she wanted to go in the private room what you know is for one person and they told her oh no um because you're coming alone you cannot get the private room you have to come with a companion and if you're coming with a companion only then you can get the private room why so i need to come with a companion so you all can get more money because the companion has to pay a per day fee as well to stay there and all you guys are doing is just providing food for the companion you're not providing anything else and now with covid people are not allowed to go here there and everywhere they're only allowed to be in the recovery house or go to the clinic and if i don't come with a companion i can't stay in the recovery room by myself so i can have you know whatever peace and quiet or sterility or sanitary conditions where i want to be alone away from people to me that's to me that's money hungry behavior because for example butterfly there's a private room where it's one person or if you have a companion you can bring them it doesn't matter the double room where it's two dolls and the triple room where there's three dolls there is no or oh, you need to come with somebody to get the, the the um the private room then i have another uh couple of people that were dming me talking about that they were going to go stay there or their mom was having surgery too and the mom was going to go stay there and they were going to stay somewhere else and it's like they're charging them all this extra money um whereas other recovery houses are giving you a cheaper rate they're like adding on all these other fees whatever so 
I really don't know who is their masseuse. And like I told you guys over and over, your masseuse is going to be a make or break it for you in regards to how good your post-op recovery and your results are going to be. John posts all the time where people, where dolls would come to him for him to give them massages because they were getting massages from whoever because he doesn't call names. And they'll go and have seven days, nine days of massages. And then when they come to him, he's like, you had massages for all these days and this is how you look. And then he'll show you how they looked after nine massages, whatever. And then he'll show you two days or three days later how they'll look when he give them massages and get them in their faha and whatever. So when I tell you guys, his pictures speak a thousand words. That's why I, I all the time tell you guys, the masseuse will make or break your recovery. You guys want to go and stay at Pro Carib? I don't know who's the, the masseuse over there. A lot of these recovery houses, they will hire their own masseuse. That's why they don't allow outside masseuses to come into their home and pay this person whatever is their little salary. And then they're going to keep the bulk of money for themselves. So you guys are paying the recovery house $25, $30 per massage. And from that $30 per massage you're giving the recovery house, they're paying their employee, the masseuse, whatever, $5, $10, whatever, out of that $30 or $25 that you're paying them. So that's why I don't agree with a lot of these recovery houses when you when you write them and you ask them, well, who's your masseuse? Can I see their Instagram page, their Facebook page? I want to see results of the work that they do. They can't, they, what are they going to do? Tell you nothing. They can't give you an answer or they, they don't want to they they answer the question or, you know, they give you some vague whatever. That's why, because they hire their own little employees to do their own little work or whatever. And you, you can't go and, you know, go where you want and get who you want to massage you. So again, it comes back to this. Why would you spend all this money to do flight, passport, recovery house, surgery, deposit, all of that, to then, which is the most important part of surgery, your post-op care to get your results, be cheap, scrimp and save. You don't know what to do. You don't know who to go to. You getting mediocre dumb shit done to you. And then it is, you know, you're going to be blaming the doctor and talking about, well, this doctor didn't do this to me and they did a shitty job and whatever. No, bitch. You was cheap as fuck. <laughs> you didn't do what you were supposed to do. You didn't educate yourself. You didn't get the knowledge. So you don't know what to do post-op to make sure that you maximize your results. Again, guys, all this shit that I know now, I didn't know this, all of this going into round one. All of this knowledge came to me during my entire journey. Now I'm two years and what? Uh, we're in August. So two years and seven months post-op from my tummy tuck. One year and seven months post-op from my um, 360 lipo. You know, so all of this knowledge that I get is from all the shit that I've gone through, been through. People couldn't help me. They didn't know. <clears throat> you know, I had to figure shit out on my own, whatever. And that's why, like somebody said to me in my comments, in my uh, on my post, you're giving all this knowledge that you learned the hard way through your journey, through your experience, through other people's mistake, whatever. I'm taking time. Look, I could have been fucking my husband right now for the last three hours. I'm on here with y'all. And I'm going to say it just like that. Because y'all know my mouth have no cover. <laughs> I don't sugarcoat shit. I'm blunt as fuck. I could have been in the back there, in that bed, having sex with my husband, watching TV, eating snacks, you know, chilling out, in bed with him, naked as fuck, in the AC. Where am I? I'm here with you all. This is like the third life we're doing. So this is going on hour three that we're chit-chatting here. You know, sharing knowledge with you guys for fucking free. Right? I am trying to give you all knowledge to help you all so you don't have to go through bullshit. So that you, you go in to what it is you're getting yourself into into this plastic surgery journey with some kind of fucking knowledge as to what you're getting yourself into. You're not going to go down there and get surprised. Whether you go Miami, Colombia, the DR, Mexico, fucking uh, Brazil, Venezuela, Turkey, it don't matter where the fuck you go. Wherever you go and have your surgery, you have an idea what to expect. What's going to happen? What should I look out for? You know what I'm saying? Especially a lot of you guys that have never traveled, don't have a passport, don't know anything about Caribbean culture or Spanish culture or wherever you're going to go have surgery. I'm trying to give you all knowledge so you're prepared. You're prepared. And then what the fuck do I get? I mean, I'm not going to lie. A lot of you guys, you know, are super grateful. 
you're thankful, you send me nice little notes, you know, every now and again, whatever. But I'll, again, there's a lot of fucking trolls out there that talk about a bunch of dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? And instead of them saying, oh, you know what? Why is Sergio B saying this? Let me go and research it. Why is she talking this kind of whatever? She talking bullshit. Duh, duh, duh. Let me go and research it. No. They prefer being the fucking group, bad talking people, gossiping, talking toxic shit, negative shit, whatever, instead of researching why the fuck the point that they're in a fucking surgery group. Because you're interested in surgery. You ain't had no damn surgery. You're not trying to get information, right? All you're trying to do is bad to, oh, who look funny? Who doctor didn't do a good job? One, one, the one bitch said to me, she had 296 rounds and she still have a fupa. So I had to make a post about her square ass damn fucking doctor and my fucking fibroids. Yes, bitch, that's why it looks like I have a fupa. Because I'm a big ass orange sized fibroid. <laughs> okay? I mean, they make such ignorant, dumb ass, no contribution to any fucking thing helpful to anybody. Just negative bullshit. That's why I don't do these Facebook groups. That's why I, I can't. Because I'll be cussing people a whole motherfucking day. Like, seriously, I don't have time for that negativity. Like, seriously, I mean, and I honestly feel, guys, whether you guys believe this or not, I really believe in the power of attraction. What you put out there into the universe is what you are going to get back. So when I hear people tell me shit like, um, this person was in this group and they were a bully. Okay, I'm going to give fucking examples. And who vex? Oh, well. That one girl on YouTube that went to Desenia, B. Rose or something she calls herself, people were telling me that she was in whether whichever of the, the Facebook groups that they like to like real cuss people out and whatever, um, bullying people in there, telling women all kind of negative, bad shit, whatever, demeaning people and whatever. And then her ass went to um, Desenia. She's on YouTube. Go look her up. B. Rose Leonard or something like that is her name on the YouTube. Um... And, you know, was so, oh, my God, they send you blah, blah, blah. And she also happy and grateful and wonderful and thankful. And then he fucked her up. And she got these big ass fucking burns around her whole fucking waist. Now, when people message her and ask her, um, what do you talk about your experience with the senior? She want to tell them, leave me the fuck alone. That's the power of attraction. Okay. Don't speak ill of the dead, but I'm going to say it. Marcia, who died at the senior hands, the one that bought the Versace robe for him and whatever. Um, Galena, the one that was from New York or whatever that died as well, I was told that both of them were admins in whatever group that they have on their Dominican dolls, whatever, whatever. And they were in there, bad talking women, blocking comments, deleting comments, bullying women, talking all kind of bad shit to them. And then what happened? The same doctor that they ride so hard for in love killed them. Yes, I believe he killed them. I don't think it's no one take Percocet and one couldn't breathe and whatever. I honestly think this man, with his aggressive, crazy-ass experimental surgery he's doing on people. Because, guys, if you haven't joined the group that I posted about in my Surgery Bay Facebook group, and also I made a post on Instagram with the, her name is Vita, the doll that was on that table that I made that post about, go look, you'll find it. She has now a YouTube page, and they've created a Facebook page showing you some of the shit that this man, this senior, is doing to people. And when I tell you he's experimenting on people, one doll showed where he lipoed from her knee to her ankle. Lipoed her calf. And it's fucking a burnt. Burnt. Experimenting on people with different type of fucking surgeries. That's why Tandra is telling you, oh, can I shit about, yeah, he'll give you some free tie lipo and arm lipo and whatever. And yeah, he'll do everything you want in one round, whatever, and what? You guys are fucking going over there and dying. So you all be like, oh, Sergio Bay, you so mean, you so disrespectful, you so whatever. Bitch, I'm real. I'm not disrespectful and, and rude and whatever and mean and cruel. No, I'm keeping it 100 and fucking real. This is the reality. You're going to go over there, have surgery with this man. And you don't have your will. You don't have life insurance. You, you didn't say goodbye to your motherfucking family and your husband and your children. That's the risk that you're running, that more than likely you're going to end up fucking dead. So we got 27 seconds, guys. I'm going to end the live. And I will try my very best and post these on YouTube for you guys tonight. Um, and I'll, I will remove them from my IGTV. So we will do a live soon again.
I'm gonna go give my husband some attention. All right, guys, talk to you guys later.